guys and now it is the greenhouse time so I also just watered it in here guys so in here I've got my Monstera Siltipicana blue form and then I've got in the back I've got my got my Philodendron Gloriosa called Baby G chilling there I've got a Rosalis goes very well and then I've got my rattle skull plant I don't think I'm going to take out here because he had some yellowing leaves that I picked out I think it's too cold for him here and then I've got tassel fern my anthurium uh, grazial my this is my uh, monstera siltipicana el salvador this is my baby Monstera Thai Constellation. This is one of my Vitifoliums that, <laughs> guys, he's gone through a lot. It's gone through a lot. It's gone, this is some caterpillar mites, which I thought was quite strange for Anthuriums. I felt like bugs don't really like, uh, don't really like to munch on Anthuriums. I've got another baby Vitifolium there. Then I've got my Anthurium brownie eye. I've got another tassel fern. This tassel fern has a lot softer tassels than this one over here. This is my Anthurium uh, Macrovolium cross something, guys. Gudatum times Macrovolium. And then this is my Philodendron Mexican. He's a baby. And then down here, guys, this is my Anthurium polydactum, my Autumn Queen. Uh, back here, I have my uh, Philodendron Silver Cloud, my Philodendron Pistazium. Although this is recently uh, named, actually, and I'll put the name here. I think it's named after a, a gentleman, actually. And then I've got my Monstera Strandlana Variegata, quite big. Uh, he's growing right here. And then I've got a... Guys, <laughs> I always keep forgetting the name of this plant. I feel like I want to say it's an Epiprendum something. Uh, but he's a trailer. I'll put him here, guys. I'll put him here. And then I've got my Anthurium watermelons. Most of the plant is around here. There he is. So, guys, that wraps up the plants I have here. Guys, now this is my Philodendron Hastadium Silver Sword. This is the last plant I have outside. And, guys, just want to show you how its leaves grow as this plant matures. So this is a quite a mature leaf and it's newer leaves are more of this um, this oval shape. And I guess guys the only thing you gotta be careful of is uh, I think there's also a philodendron silver snake uh, which leaf shape looks quite similar to this when it's a, a even when it's mature but the Silver sword mature, when it matures, the leaves look like this. So you just got to be careful that, you know, when you're buying particularly juvenile plants, sometimes it's actually very hard to ID them. Now guys, this is one of the biggest plants I have in my collection. Guys, and this is one of my newest plants. <laughs> I mentioned I was going to show him. Uh, in yesterday's video that I'll show him today. This is my Diffenbachia. I actually think this is my first Diffenbachia. This is my Diffenbachia reflector that I got yesterday from Bunnings and he needs to be kept in quite a in quite a warm location. So I think I've got to try and keep him inside. Okay guys, so these are the plants I have near our bread machine. Uh, this is a painted lady cutting. It's been sitting in perlite for about, I reckon, almost a year, guys. I should actually pot them up. This is my bipenifolium, uh, or philodendron bipenifolium, or horsehead philodendron. This guy can actually grow on water, put him in perlite. 
This is my Syngonium Cheer Pence. It's very pretty and such big leaves. And then this guy is my Philodendron Abapoensi. Atabapoensi. A lot of philodendrons here guys. And um, these are the philodendrons that don't need don't need soil to grow. Alright guys, and then the last corner of my house where I keep plants is this one here. It's not very aesthetic guys, but here is my last couple of plants. I've got my philodendron silver cloud cutting. In here, I've got my lichens that I'd recently put up. You might have remembered it had a big leaf, but I had to cut that off because it started dying. So I put them up. I've got my philodendron cup, um, campo, my philodendron campo. I've got my philodendron exilium, and then my philodendron tortum, who's is slowly yellowing. Um, I should actually take off these leaves. I don't think I think they're dead, but this these the smaller one looks okay. Oh no, this one looks like it's yellowing too. These are the plants here on this table, and then finally over here. So I've got my filled uh, my Syngonium wendelanii. Now, guys, this is what happens when you underwater and it becomes leggy. So the plant the leaves in the bottom of your plant start to die off. And then you know new growth comes out. I'm very diligent to water this guy. My small Anthurium polydactum. I brought him inside because uh, whilst he's quite resilient, I just thought he'd be a lot happier in here. Uh, my Hoya polynuria, which is my fishtail Hoya. And then guys, in here I finally have that terrarium. So in here I've got my uh, orchids. So my uh, you've got my uh, Lucida discolor at the back, my uh, Patel and my Code somewhere. That's the jewel one in the middle. That one there, the Lucida cross, which is there. And then I've got, um, I've got my. Sorry guys, it's really hard to see the lighting, but I've got my Cryopanthers in the background, which are there. And then I've got my George Costanza. My sea sucker plant here, and then I've got one of my Ethereums here. These are the plants I have in this corner of the house. Alright guys, and last but not least, I've got this section here. Um, I've got to say sorry guys, I know it's, it's quite untidy my collection, but I've got to, <laughs> I guess I will, I will have to, um, when I get my own place, I'm going to make sure it's a more tidy. Now this is an alphabet plant. He, when I, when I got him, he had a bit of root rot, so I'm trying to propagate him. This is a moonshine sense of or dressiander moonshine cutting. This is another one. This is a philodendron cordata cutting. Or Hartley filled engine. This is a random succulent that came with the pot that I bought. Now, going into the greenhouses, guys, this is my uh, Amedrium zipolinium. This is cold damage for it, so I've got to take that leaf off. That is my Anthurium crystallinium. That is my Royal Queen. My Philodendron Black Knight. I think that's all the plants I have here. He's a lot small. I think I've taken some of them out, but those are the plants I have there. And then in this one here, this is my uh, Monstera Pinati Partium. He's recently started yellowing, and I'm not sure why, guys. So I've got to figure that out. Uh, this is my Philodendron Mammy Eye Stem Cutting. It's got some new growth. This is my Philodendron Gloriosum. He was a cutting. Now he, he's, he's, he's rooted very well. This is my Anthurium Vichii. My baby Anthurium Vichii. This is a... Uh, <laughs> this is a Raphidophria 
uh, tetrasperma. Doesn't look like it, eh, guys? But um, he was a cutting that's rooted in, and I transfer to soil. And this is, guys, my Monstera stranulana, and you can see he's got some new growth there. So these are the plants I have in these two greenhouses. Guys, that marks the end of my houseplant collection tour. I've got to put the tally up somewhere, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this, this really quick casual type of video. If you have any questions on any of the plants that I've shown, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Bye!